Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yay, we did it. We made, we made it to the stream. It's Cryojoid. And how come I can't move? Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, everybody. I hope your Saturday is fantastic. And uh, we have a special return of a special person. It's not this guy in front of me. It's the guy. Maybe he's in our earphones. Can we hear him? Come in. Come in. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, 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 uh huh. Yeah, I, can, can, you guys hear? Uh, uh. Everybody really loves this joke, Sparks. This is this is great. <laughs> this is really. Hey, good. everybody! It's I'm Sparks, and I'm here. And I'm How's I'm Mars Europe, and I'm also here. And and this guy, that's Cryojoid. And that guy, I don't know him, but he's he's here. Watch this. If you go up to him, you can make him smile. Look, see, he's all frowny faced. Do to do. Watch, you can make him smile. Do to do. Come on, you want to smile? You going to do it? Speaking of which, Sparks, are you are you in a spaceship right now? I am. I am in space. Are you in space? Come come to where we are. We're, okay. <laughs> we're bullying. <laughs> we're bullying the guy, the uh, our uh, our guard here. I mean, he does have a, a a automatic weapon, so maybe it's not the best idea. Oh, there he goes. He smiled. Look at him. He's smiling now. What a guy, what a guy. All right, everybody, we have a fantastic show for you today. Um, us and the rest and the drafts here on the Discord, we figured out oh, how to get into ship cockpits. Can you believe it, Cryojoid? I I can't believe it. I don't believe it. Because um, actually it was, it was Disemboweled Ego. Commander, Commander Disemboweled Ego. Um, I would count him as one of one of us, Sparks. He's a fellow giraffe. I mean, so is so is Cryojoid yes. for that matter. Um, but, okay, so how are you doing? Are you out there? Are you landing? Let me see. Let me let me go into the uh, uh, the Skycopter Nine. I can actually see the outside of my fleet carrier. Let's see. Are you here yet? I'm about to jump back in. I jump back in. Jump back in. Get your body inside. Okay, we're over here, we're way out in the Witch Head Nebula, and there's a special region. Why? Why? I'll tell yeah, you why. why. Oh my gosh! A special reason why, because um, there, the uh, engineer here, Sparks, has two secret doors in her city, and if you take those secret doors, she'll let you go inside of any ship's cockpit. Do you believe that? What? Yeah, it's true. Do you want me to land, or should I just? Yeah, you should land. Your, uh... No, you should okay. definitely land. Um, as now, now there's a huge caveat to what I just said, right? Okay, you're gonna and, make me take off immediately, aren't you? Huh? No, no, no. You should land. Okay. You should okay. land. And um, but no, there's a caveat. Oh, I see your. I think I see your ship. Is that you? No, that's yes. not you. Let's see here. Let's see. Here. What's your docking number? O one. Hey, that's private information. Okay? <laughs> okay, it is you. Oh, are you in a type type nine? I don't want to talk about it. No, no, because um, look at your bank account. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. What 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 happened? Okay, so notice how you're in a type nine, right? Uh, yes. So we I'm in a type nine heavy. Yeah. So we got this fleet so, carrier. I'm not tornado. I'm not sure if you remember us having a fleet carrier last time you were online. But uh, we have a fleet carrier now, and um, we we're 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 rich beyond our wildest dreams. How much money? I don't do, understand. How much money do you have right now? Like a billion dollars. Yeah, that's not even close to how much we all have. We are uh, the the space. <laughs> so when we first what got, happened? <laughs> when we got the wait wait, wait have, you, have, have you ever seen that Mitchell and Webb bit where it's like uh uh by Zargon or whatever where it's like the guy comes into work and everyone's like. Hail like Zargon. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen that bit? Uh, maybe not. Okay, so the, the entire bit is them like in space, and they're like by the holy scrolls of Zargon or something like that, and they have like all these like sal salutes that everyone's doing, and yeah. like the one guy is like, "What is like? I literally was here last Thursday, and th there was no mention of this emperor <laughs> or ruler or any of this stuff." Yeah, like I just, that's I just exactly. Took a day off. That's exactly what it came like. I came a in a day I'm like, off. You've been oh. gone for a month. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, but but still, like yeah, like I in, in, in a I month, th thought the game was broken because my bank account was like well, that's not right. There must be like a rounding error in the game. And then, by the way, this is what happens. I I text Mars, like uh, you know, like what what the you know uh, is going on, and he just responds with. Oh yeah, we're rich now. No yeah. more information. <laughs> no context. Nothing else. Just oh yeah, we're rich now. Like what happened since I was last here? Well, somebody doesn't watch the streams. That's for sure. Ha. <laughs> uh, hey, okay, come on, get in here. Get inside. Get inside. Me and Cryo are waiting for you. Okay, I'm coming in. Okay. Oh yeah, Mirror Jade. Of course you're a giraffe. You're the only giraffe with no money. We have to have somebody on the inside, Mirror Jade. Right? We can't have everybody <laughs> be a billionaire. I mean, what kind of society would we be? Okay, so so yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. In the other streams, just, we just we did some. Just tell me this money isn't stolen. Just tell me it's not stolen. Let me think. Let me think. There might have been. No, I will tell you it's not stolen. Are you here yet? Where are? Jeez, Luis, what is it taking you so long? I'm I'm on the the flight deck. Okay. What do you mean you're on the flight deck? You, you have know, like the flight deck. You haven't passed us. It, we're, we've been waiting for you here at the command deck. Okay, I'm going into an elevator. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah. Go to the concourse. Yeah, yeah, come to the concourse. The whole point, okay. Sparks, of you leaving the station was to come back so you can meet with me and Cryojoid. Mira J is so broke she can't even afford space legs. Excellent. Whoa, hey, everybody. hey guys! Hey, hey. yeah, you're hey. back. Let's clap. Let's give him a hand. Sparks, oh, look at him. Wow. Yeah, welcome back. Come on, Sparks. Hey, let me show. Feedback. Let me show you around. Okay. All right. This right here, this right here yeah. is our bar. We haven't named it yet, um, but we're gonna have to make the name a bar. But why don't I do a ribbon uh, cutting and let's open the bar? Are okay. you ready? Are you ready yeah, for this? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, here it goes. Ready? And it's open. Oh, cool, huh? It comes with people yeah, already. Nice. It doesn't sound like a good sound how it opens. Look at that. This guy looks really sad. Yeah. This guy looks like this guy looks like he used all his money yeah. to drink and now he wants another drink, but he doesn't have any money. I for a drink. I think I think this is <laughs> What is wrong with you? I think this is our engineer. Um, he's, that wouldn't make sense. He's very yeah, sad. Yeah. <laughs> but look at this view, Sparks. Isn't, it, isn't this amazing? I mean, the whole reason I got this fleet carrier, I'm not even going to lie, was for this room. Oh, wow. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then our bartender, Sparks, look at his name. What can I get for you? Look at our bartender's name. Okay. What's his name? No way. Yeah. Numbers Foreman? Numbers Foreman. Pretty cool, huh? All right, come, yeah. come to me. Come to me. He has nothing for you. Oh. He just gets really mad when you you don't buy our own inventory. Okay. okay. We're gonna come down here. Yeah. Thanks, Rome Grown. It's good to be back. Oh, Rome Grown. Okay, we're gonna go in here. This is the nerd room. Here we go. Um, this is Vista Genomics. G Genomics, I think. You can tell I use it, right? Now the only reason I have this in in the fleet carrier is to make fun of the guy who works there. Okay, here it goes. It's opening. Here it comes. Ribbon cutting. Da 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 da. Look at his Hello. name. Look at his name. Hello. Come in here. What are you doing? How are you jumping? Can you not come in? No, I can't now. Oh, okay. Here you go. It's Numbers Finch. Numbers Finch. I spent a, uh, an obscene amount of time re um, doing everybody's name, re rolling everybody's name, so that way everyone's in my crew is named Numbers. Well, that makes it really easy if you if you need to call out for somebody, you can just set, you yeah. can just shout Numbers. But there's an exception, Sparks, and you're really gonna like this. Come here. There's an exception. JSB, five pounds. Thank you, JSB. Single-handedly funding the channel, I still see. <laughs> no, no <laughs> doubt. Okay, this one is a okay. special. This one has a special name here, Sparks. All right. Okay. And, and yeah. I am very happy. This was literally, um, the ship came with this name, with this person. A ship came with this person. Uh huh. 
and it was so appropriate, I didn't change this person's name. <laughs> Claudia Sparks! How crazy is that? Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, well, Cla Claudia uh, and I are actually uh, distant cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the resemblance. Yeah, but you can see that she's embarrassed about our family lineage, so she, do she, she dropped the W from our from our name. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know your cousins. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so everybody uh, on the ship <laughs> is either named Sparks or Numbers, uh -huh. with the exception of our um, our our uh, um, who is it? Somebody's name is Soulbender. I had to keep that, and somebody no, else's name was Genesis Flowers, and I thought I'll keep that too. Hey, it's Logan Six. All right. Well, I mean, now that we're done with the tour, let's let's go let's go get on, on in, inside of cockpits. Adventure. Adventure. All right, all right. Go in your spaceship, Sparks. Oops. Oh no, I you went into. That's. I don't want to go in that spaceship. Go in your. No, wait, 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 Sparks. Come back here. Where'd you go? I'm right here. You need I'm to right change. You need to change your spaceship. Here, come in okay. here. Come here. Thank God, I don't want to go out there. <laughs> go, cha go change into your uh, your crate. Okay. All right. Everybody who's in in here, uh, change into a medium ship. Speaking of which, I need to um, party up with disemboweled. Okay, disemboweled's already in the team. Disemboweled, is it possible you want to drop out of your team and join us? Just Wait, because why me and Sparks... is my ship associated with an outstanding bounty? I don't know. I noticed that too. Were you joyriding while I was gone? Well, whatever it is, I don't think the bounty applies to this system. Oh, God. I'm going to be... No, I'm the one down. who's literally wanted in this system. I'm afraid to turn myself <laughs> in. Don't turn yourself in because they might send you to a nebula far, far away. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay get in, get inside there. And wait, and then go to the surface. I'll I'll see you on the surface. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna see if disemboweled Later, is going to left the wing now. Okay, invite the team. Oh, I didn't. I invited you, disemboweled. Okay, disemboweled is our tour guide in all this. Uh, he's found all the secret doors in this system, and we're gonna go uh, figure this out. Tokoso asks if you were kissing cousins with Claudia. Uh, yeah, we made out, but like it was before we actually knew we were cousins. Oh yeah. yeah? So it's it's okay. Did you do that like twenty three and me, and then you're like you're like oh look what I got you dear, oh thanks I got you one too oh we no, have we, so we, we have so much in common. No 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 we 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 didn't we didn't date we just we just made out. You know? Oh, as you do with normal people with just random <laughs> people you meet. <laughs> Well, I was like, Sparks, Sparks, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, let's make out. Yeah, yours is without a W, mine is with a W, so <laughs> imagine if we were related. Oh, no, 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 she she had a W back then. It was after we made out. Yeah. That's when she dropped the W. She's like, I want nothing to do with you. Oh, or maybe she does. I don't know. This is a weird conversation. All right, so we want to go and <laughs> land somewhere else. So we're going to take off from the this, this vessel here, and... Go ahead in your nav panel, Sparks, and go to Cinder Dock. That's where we want to go. Okay. We want to go to Cinder Dock. So now, Sparks, another great thing about um, having a fleet carrier is uh, I just cart around your 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 ships wherever we go, and. Uh, so we don't have to have this conversation of where where are you? Now it's more of a conversation of <laughs> Mars, where am I? When are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't have Cinder Dock. Okay, follow me. Follow me. I will. That makes sense because you probably don't have the. Um, you probably the data, don't. Yeah. No, you, this is a um, an engineer, and so you probably don't have this person unlocked. So just follow my wing signal. Okay. Um, actually, if you have a disemboweled wing signal, you can already um, go with him. Okay. And then we'll see you guys there. Actually, Cryjoid, I wonder... Cryjoid, if there's time, could you get into an ASP? Well, it actually depends what disemboweled is in. Disemboweled, what kind of ship are you in? 
This way we don't have to like waste everyone's time to see like how. Oops, I'm already in outer space. So this is right on this planet. You want me to follow disembowel eagles? Yeah, go go disembowel eagles okay. wing signal. I got a friend request. Friend request from Mr. Man Tara Yo One. You are now my friend. We're now friends, Sparks, with this person. Yay! Look at this. Friend. We're friends. Oh, great! It's daytime here. This is fantastic. It wasn't daytime here last time I was here. Where is Cinder Doc? Oh. <laughs> Aquilord's having the same problem as you are. Um, follow all. Um, Aquilord, if you're already in um, Super Gru's, look at the planet and look at all the low wakes. There's a city right below all the low wakes, um, and that's where we are. Yeah, and on that note, uh, Mira, missed you too. Sorry that I made you retract that. But uh, Potato Island, yeah, we don't know what we're talking about either. But we are always in open. Why does everybody ask this? Yes, always, always in open. To be fair, we weren't in open last week. Oh, really? But there you go. Why is this purple? Are people making Cinder Chick live stream channel? Why? Well, we can't, Freaks, we can't look at the Discord, tab out onto Discord in the middle of a thing here. Okay, I'm I figured, going to... I, I, I figured, Mira. <laughs> Keep going, Mars. Okay, I'm going to land, hopefully, at dock number seven. I got five. Alright. Okay, be careful. Don't get oh. killed here. I'm being shot at. You are being shot at? Yeah. Why are you being shot at? Whoa, 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 shields off, line shot at. What's going on? Who's shooting you? Why are you being shot at? You're being shot at. Who's shooting you? System? Uh, I'm, I'm out, I'm out. The police wow. are shooting you. All right. Woo! 31% <laughs> hull. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, interesting. I wonder what that was about. What is that about? Wait, why am I being shot at? Why are you telling me to go somewhere where everyone's just shooting at me immediately? I didn't know they would shoot at you. That's weird. That's, I'm I'm thoroughly I'm thoroughly per perplexed by that. You know, what I could do is uh sneak you in, Sparks. Go ahead and okay, my yeah. Oh God. Well, no, it just do do. Can I go make a safe landing in the outskirts, or do I need to go back and repair my ship? I'm at 31% hull. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah. Come to the outskirts. I'll pick you up. You you'll go into my ship, and I'll pick you up. Okay. So land, come to me. I'll, f I'll I found a, a safe space for us. Okay. Why do I not believe you? Because I'm not there yet. Hold on. See, this is. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Let me find a safe come space. Come to me. Wait, but not yet. <laughs> okay, hold on. I think I found this. I found a nice. Well, the thing is, I'm surrounded by mountains. There are many mountains here. No, no. I am going to land. You come to me. I am not going where you. All right, all right. That's a smart idea. You, you speak smarts. All right, I see you. Are right, you land? Why do you have thirty-one percent hull? You should have oh, your shields on. My God. Why are your shields are off? Uh -oh. Did you did they, you turn them off? Off. They were no. They were shot down. Turn them back on. You should turn them back on. I, I just. <laughs> okay. Well, first things first. It doesn't matter. Just <laughs> land. Just land your spaceship, Sparks, and then and then everyone's waiting for us. The everyone's waiting on a bated breath to see the inside of cockpits. They cannot wait <laughs> to see something. They can just do this and look around. Having said that, we're gonna we're gonna see much more than this. I found a bed, Sparks, in one of these one in one of these uh, spaceships. There's a, a bed. There's a bed. Disemboweled has. Okay, good. Disemboweled has um. Has like, hey, this is about go ahead and uh, land at uh, Hangar Sevens. I think that's the optimal one, right? If you go ahead and land over there, we'll meet you there, and I'll try to land um, this thing at like Hangar Eight or something like that. No, no, like five or six. Now keep those numbers in mind, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, the chat, because those are the best places you want to go. This works only with medium ships. 
Uh, uh, this model, does this also work with small ships? I tried with large ships, but unfortunately it does not work. And I'll show you why. I'll show you exactly why it will not work with large ships once we get to where we're going. Only medium. There are no other ways for some small ships. Okay, so this is just a just a, a medium ship only cockpit um, break-in. Okay, now, Smarks, if you're, you, I don't know if you're aware, you only have 31%, so make sure you land no, know, very, very gently. I, all right? I know, I know, I know that I'm in a precarious situation. Thank you very much. Don't, I don't can't just believe slam we it down. This thing off. Oh, Jesus. Why do you, why are you even wanted here? Smarks, I, what I don't understand is why you're wanted here when you've never been here before and you don't even have the, the, the person unlocked for you to even have been here. I don't give. I, nothing makes sense. I, don't, I feel like you were joyriding in my ship. No, I haven't. Ship. I promise. No, I, feel I have you, not. No, I feel. I don't believe you. Why can I not land? Are you having the same problem as I am? Yeah. Okay, I got. I gotta be. I gotta focus. Hold on. Yeah, you have thirty-one percent hole. You should focus. Oh, okay. Down to twenty-eight. Did you land? Yes, I landed. Okay, now get out of your ship before it blows up for like no reason. There we go. There we go. Why would it blow oh, up? make sure you're in an Artemis suit. Get in an Artemis suit. What okay. is with this planet? I cannot land on it. I'm I getting don't, all I don't have the an Artemis suit. No, you I got do. Maverick and Dominator. Go. Okay. Um. You you, you do. Dominator you, or Maverick? Do use a Maverick. You do have a Artemis suit. It's just somewhere else. All right. It's fine. Okay. Great. This have all got pad seven. Good. And no, it's not a Thai food restaurant. This is terrifying. I don't want to die. You won't die. <laughs> Spatula Della Del 7 says, Spark's reputation precedes him. What did I do wrong? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can you see me trying to land? What is with this spaceship? This is why I never fly this thing. It's really funny from my angle. Okay. Come on. Hold on, let, let me spot you, bro. Hold on, hold on. No, stay, stay away, stay away. You, you will get smushed. Okay, wait. Do you see where I am? Yeah, I see where you are. Okay. I okay. Where I'm standing uh -huh. is very flat. You should, you should land here. I will now leave where where I'm at. But you should okay, land okay. here because it's really flat. All right. Is that better? I cannot land. More, more to your right. Oh god. Why Ooh. is this happening? Tell your ship to go away. Maybe I'll land where. <laughs> You're gonna land where my ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is so weird. What what's going on? Okay, watch where my ship is so you know where to land it. Okay. All right, I'm landing here. I'm landing here. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I can see that your your pads aren't touching the floor correctly. The, the weird thing is the game is saying I have alignment is just fine. Go ahead, no problems. From an outside perspective, this looks like Got it. just hopping. Ooh, All right, I heard come, you land. Come over here. Jeez Louise, that took my shields down to 31%. That was a battle of the ages. Me versus landing. Mars, do I have we crimes so off? From where we need to go. Do I have crimes off? Uh, probably not. Let's see. Uh, report gr cr cr crimes against me. It's locked. I can't turn it on or off. So, I don't know. Okay. Alright, how close are you? I'm not very close. I'm staying away from you. You need to get in the ship, you ding dong. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm running to you. Alright. Are you sure that they're not going to shoot me, like, once I'm there? 
Yes. I don't believe you. I thought it sounded convincing. Okay. All right, you're almost okay, here. Getting in your ship. Get inside yeah, the vessel. You know, it could be I've never flown this ship before, too. That's another thing. Thank you, chat, for all the tips and tricks to land on the surface. But I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. Sparks, you better not get me in trouble with this station. Go ahead and put that extra pip that you brought over into um, Sis. There we go. Okay, so what's really cool about this um, this place is that it's half underground. This city, Ooh. it was built with a subterranean um, section to it. It's it's a uh, it's a dwarven city. Was it built with rock and roll? I think so. So you are you telling me that you built this city was built with rock and roll? Mm-hmm. I built this city. I built this you city. You built this city? Uh-huh, with dwarven power and rock and roll. All right, let's see here. Disembowel, we want to land where near disemboweled is. All right, let's see here. Request docking. 18, nope. Docking. 19, nope. Docking pad five, I think that's where I want to go. We need to land before they scan us, Sparks. That's the problem. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, where is the landing pad? Where did they put it? It's over there. Wrong one. I need to land before they scan me. Freaks, are you in my landing pad? Uh oh. Freaks, you need to get <laughs> out from under there. Because uh, they're going to get mad at you and shoot you. Uh oh. Sparks. There we go. What? How do. How do. Why is there a traffic jam here? Okay, let me try to get in here. Okay, just trying to get in here. Almost landed. There we go. No problem. That was pretty easy, if you ask me. Okay, Sparks. Now, I need you to get an SRV. Sparks is no longer here. <laughs> oh no. Where did Sparks go? Okay, I'm gonna get an SRV. I think we might have lost Sparks. Um, well, I didn't want me to be a part of this. Is, is now hacked my, my terminal, so I, I, I can't even connect. You can't connect? No. Sparks is having some internet problems. <laughs> well, gee, this is gonna happen. Okay. Uh, okay, well. You know when I'm, I'm back on, but my internet has, has disconnected. I'm not okay. on 5G. All right. Well, stay on the line, and uh, if you can, watch along, if that's possible, and uh, react to whatever the hell I am doing. Is that cool? Yeah, man. That's super cool. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, guys. So the first part of this is we need to go into the secret door. Now, there's all these landing pads here, right? Yes, somebody asked a really key question. How come my SRV did not spawn in a regular garage? Like I said before, half of this city is underground. Okay? And built with rock and roll. It's built with rock and roll and underground. So, um, also, there is a nine and three quarters um, landing pad here. You guys ready? Alright, you wanna see it? You wanna see the secret door? I'll show you the secret door. It's right, right there. Ooh, pretty cool, huh? Look at this. Now we're inside. We're with, we're in the mines of Moria down here, and we're gonna take a, ourselves to our first, our very first. Oh, I forgot to do something. I better do it before I can't do it. It might be too late. It's too late. Okay, but that's okay because uh, disemboweled ego has his ship ready. I was supposed to tell my ship to stay where it is, but I did not. 
Okay, coming in here. Going in. Okay, disembowed Eagle's ship is just over here. We need to get there soon because there is a timer. Okay. Alright. Now, this what this allows us to do, since half of this place is underground... Since half of this place is underground... Okay, good. There's no timer. That means the hangars are also underground. Which allows us to do something, Sparks. See how his ship is underground there? It goes up all the way to the cockpit. The cool thing about this... Actually, it doesn't about stay in there. I wonder if, if, I, if I can see you. Oh, no. You left, I think. Oh, no. You're back. I wonder if I can see you when I go over there. I wonder if I can go in the cockpit with you. Let's find out. Okay, so now I'm driving over, over to him. Now, Sparks, you're probably wondering, right? Um, I'm wondering a lot of things right now, Mars. Yeah, so like, it's like, how how is it? Okay, we're here. We're, it looks like we're floating. Whoa! -ho -ho! It looks like we're floating, but we're not floating. We are on top of rocks. These are I'm rocks here. About why am I wanted? What has happened to the internet? That like this is not what I'm wondering about. Okay. Well, more to the point here. Everyone else is wondering. How is it that I'm just floating here? Remember, we're in Hogwarts now. We're in the <laughs> Mines of Moria and all those things that are, are, are popular culture. So, um, like I said, this place is half on the ground. I'm actually on the ground. But it's not rendering in. So how do I get inside, right? How do I join um, this embowed? What would be your guess, Sparks? If you were in this situation and you wanted to get break into that cockpit, how would you do it? What was your first? What would your first thing be? Right. So the first thing I would do is I assemble a crack team. You know uh huh. What I mean? Like a heist. A heist team. Yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah. I would have to assemble a heist team, and we would have to like go over like their backstory in a montage. That's what I would do first. Okay. Mira says shoot it with your gun. That's a good that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a little more Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, pretty that's good. a good one. That's that's closer than what your thing is. Oh, wait, wait. Did you look under any like rocks nearby to see if there's one of those fake rocks with the key in it? Oh, you're getting closer, Sparks. Getting closer. You guys are both wrong, but I'll tell you what you do. You get in your SRV, guys. Okay, this part pay attention. So once you're in here, you went through the secret door. You have your spaceship here. This doesn't need to be somebody else's spaceship. It could be your own spaceship that's already parked and landed. What you need to do now is uh, uh, also whoever is also here, you need to be careful because you will be uh, cited for blocking um, the, uh, the the ramp there. So you don't want to get wanted here because they will send you back to Maya. Okay. Um, after all this, what you need to do is you get your SRV and you go into the secret hatch on top of every single medium ship. You go in here. Okay. Now there's a secret hatch over here. Right there. This should be good. I think and this. Now you shoot it with your gun. No, 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 no. There's a secret hatch here. Right about there. Oh, look, you can see inside the ship. But we're going to see even better right now. Okay, guys, get ready for this. Once your SRV is on top of your medium ship, you go ahead and it's now safe to go inside of the ship you're on top of. Here I go. And oh, look at this. I'm inside. Stand clear. Look at this. I'm in the, um, what is this? This is the fighter bay. I'm in the fighter bay. This isn't clever editing, guys. We aren't this smart. Okay, let me go find this emboweled. Okay, here we go. Oh, kind of stuck here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kind of stuck. Oh. I think I... Hold on. There we go. Jump in. This emboweled. Okay, hold on. Oh, you guys saw it just for a second, right? Okay, let me get back on. I missed it. Is he still in here? He is still in there. Okay, let me do it again. Now, your SRVs will be jumpy, but that's fine. Okay, and I can try back inside. That they did actually, like, work through all the assets. Huh? 
instead of like a gray box inside from, from Frontier. Whoever is in the... Uh, Cryjoid, can you scoot over a little bit? Because I think you're bugging out my buggy here. Can't get in. Bugging it. It's a buggy buggy. It's a buggy buggy. Actually, you know what? I'll just get into yours. Oh, wait, Cryjoid's not in our team. Hold on, Cryjoid, I'm going to invite you into the... The the thing here, Cryjoid, invite to team. You're already in a team. <laughs> we we're both having the same problem here. Both of our buggies are are bugging. You got you got buggy buggies, man. I got buggy buggies. I have to do this quick. Buggy buggy. I need to like press E and spacebar as fast as I can. Maybe even faster than that. Uh oh. Bug and buggies. You know what? Okay, who else is here? Frakes is here. Frakes is now now in, in space. Frakes was here, but now he's gone. See, Cryjoid, is it possible for you to join our thing? Gotta be quick on the draw, I know, right? SRVs are dancing. Okay, we're gonna get back inside here in just a second. Cryjoid, if. Because I might be able to get into yours, because yours isn't jumping as much as mine is for me. Ah, oh, I can't. Oh, what else is here? Frakes is here. You realize this is a, a problem you've created yourself, right? I have. You, I have created this problem. I have. This is my problem. Let me see here. Now, sometimes you can just glitch into here. Let me see. Just like, like this. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm sort of in here. There's some there's some access panels underneath the the ship and then you can just like get in here. Okay, Mar Mar Mars is backing up for a minute. Yeah. Uh, if people want to try this outside the stream at home. Yeah. You you're kind of like an access panel like uh it, are there certain areas of the ship that you can do this with and certain areas you can't? Like do you have to do it from this angle? Yeah, from here like say you you're locked out from here. Right on these slopes, I find that you can kind of like bug your way in. Like if you crouch down and then jump back up, you can get in there. I wonder, Cryjoid, not Cryjoid, um. Yeah, I could undock if you get clear and try to redock. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and run over here. Okay, go ahead and... Okay, I can't go there, actually. There we go. Okay, go really? ahead and, and dock, um, or undock Cryodroid. Not uh, disemboweled. Go ahead. Okay, everybody get clear. What disemboweled's going to do, he's going to go up to the surface, and then he's going to come back down. And what we're going to do... Okay, that's going out that way, and that'll drop our SRVs. I feel like this is the okay. equivalent of forcing VR mode into All right. uh, uh, and then getting on the roof of your house. Yeah. Okay, well, now whatever you guys do, do not come back in here until the thing is back here, okay? Oh, don't come back in yet. Okay, all right. All right, I'm back in the SRV. Okay, now guys, this is the, we're going to skip to the uh, advanced portion of this. Which is... SRV shock replacement. Okay, guys, don't. You shouldn't have. <laughs> you fools! <laughs> you shouldn't have come. No, no, no. You will be erased <laughs> from this instance. It took so long for us to get here, Cryjoid. I promise. You will be gone so fast. Okay, come on in. All right, guys, hold on to your butts. Here comes. Here comes the. Uh, here comes the big thing. All 
Alright. This, this maid looks scary, but it's coming in. Frakes, I'm not even kidding. I will end you. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Okay, here comes disemboweled. And this will put us right inside of his uh, fighter bay hangar. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a landing gear I have to deal with. But, there we go. Hold on. Alright, come back around. Turn this way. I see the fighter bay hanger. I'm almost there. I'm caught on a landing gear, Sparks. But it's okay. I'm a professional. In this episode, Ghost Giraffe tries to enter a fighter the hardest way possible. With an SRV. There we go. And just like that. There you go. We're inside a fighter bay hangar. I think. Quick, go, go key his car. I'm going to try to key his car. Before I do that, let's see here. You know what I'm thinking? Uh, cry, uh, go repair. Let's do premium. Do a premium repair. Right. There we go. Okay, so an SRV is not meant to be in here, Sparks. I don't know if if anyone's told you this before, but um, <laughs> <You think? laughs> this this isn't meant for SRVs, let alone commanders. But here we are. It's, it's meant for fighters. Meant for fighters, right? It's a fighter, not a lover. Okay, I'm going to attempt to exit this SRV. And hope it doesn't kill me. Mirror Jaces are, are... Okay, I need to run away <laughs> from that. Okay, that's there. I'm pressing record because this is amazing. Look at that. Look at a jump. We got a Mexican jumping bean um, SRV. Cryodroids here. Okay, then... Um, I graduated. It looks like you're wading through the stuff here. Alright. You're definitely gonna need to replace the shocks on that thing afterwards. Yeah, it's it's not not ideal. Oh, almost. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, I think um this belt has has a good idea. Won't be as jumpy on my own ship. So we'll try to do our own ship. Because if I do my own ship, it won't be jumpy at all. Oh, by the way, Cryjoid, your SRV is about to explode. Okay, um, this belt, go ahead and uh, uh, take her on out of here. It just occurred to me that, like, yeah? Frontier has a lot of analytics in the game, right? Uh-huh. So they they can watch and they, you know, they see what players Woo! are doing. I, I, I wonder if it just is very confusing if they ever take a look at, like, what's going on in the game during a good draft. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so Cryodroid's um, SRV exploded. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get inside this one here. Okay, I'm going to recall my own ship, and then for me, it'll be a lot smoother if it's my own uh, ship, which is good because uh, the um, whatever I flew in here when, it's uh, it has you can stand in the cockpit, and that's what people want to see. People want to see us stand in the cockpit, which is why, Frakes, we do not want to kill the only person who has a screen <laughs> showing the stream. Alright. I'm going to recall my... Actually, I should get in position. 
99% of our players seem to fly between planets and do the missions that we created for them. Mm -hmm. Really, but what about that last 1%? Seem to have created some sort of black hole where they just start mashing their players all against the bottom of the ship, sir. We're not really sure what that player uh, emergent behavior is. Wait, this is pad five. What pad is this one? Is this pad five or? That's pad eight over there. This is probably pad seven. Should I be in pad seven? Cre um. Disemboweled. Am I in pad 7 or am I in pad 5? I think this is pad 5. That's You're at pad time. 6, which I'd request docking on. I may have moved disemboweled. Am I currently at pad 6? Oh no, Rustfang got killed and ended up in the Pleiades. High stakes going on here. Mm -hmm. Careful, Potato Island. When people die, they, <laughs> they do not come back. Uh, somebody else died and ended up in the Pleiades. This, this might be a good time to, to say, you know, kids don't try this at home. This is for professional something, mm -hmm. something, rather. Blah, blah, blah. Legalese. Don't call a lawyer, please. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, come in, in here. Now, Mars, are you doing anything specifically to prevent yourself from uh, just getting off into another galaxy? Off into another galaxy? Yeah, like, what are you doing to, to maintain, you know, safety protocols so that you yourself don't blow up, die, etc.? Hmm. Request boarding. Denied. Been, I've been denied boarding. Now, why would that be? This is about... I have a feeling everyone here is, uh... Is red. It used to be purple. Also, my boarding thing is denied. Oh, do you think I should just log out, log back in? Disemboweled? Because I think what happened was when everybody started shooting at me, it then made the station... Am I hostile? Am I hostile to the station? You know what? No. I might be hostile to the station. I wonder if leaving the instance and coming back will reset that. It could be that my SRV did damage to Cryojoid when they were next to each other. Okay, we're gonna observe. Yeah, we're gonna observe disemboweled getting inside of his ship. So at least we'll see that. Mars, you have crimes off, right? No, it won't, it won't let me. Well, we're gonna watch disemboweled. Uh, disemboweled. Are you able to get inside of yours? We can, um, I have, uh, the fl floodlights in front of you. Let's see here. Okay, disemboweled is going to go inside of his ship. Hopefully. Let's see. Oh, he fell out. Okay, so the trick is, again, you come to Cinder Dock. You dock your medium ship here, you land your SRV on top of it, and then, <laughs> for some reason, when you land your SRV on top of the the thing, you disembark and it no clips you through the ship. And then you can go into the cockpit. But there's another thing here. If you are here on your SRV, you tell your ship to go away, and then you tell it to come back. The SRV will then no clip through the ship, and then you can drive your SRV. Let's say your uh, your cockpit is uh, there. He goes. There's <laughs> there's our friend. He just jumped right through it. 
Okay, let's do that again. There we go. Let me try to get in there again. We saw they jumped in there. The, a better ship to do this is the one that I came in on, which is I forget what it's called. What, am I, what was I flying? A federal gunship, assault ship. I was flying the sh the assault ship. The assault ship is the cockpit is flush with the ground, so you can actually walk around the cockpit. The other ship that I love to go wa uh, walking around in is the the Mamba, because the Mamba guys it has a bed in it. So I don't know why they put a bed in a spaceship if you can't even see it. It's behind the cockpit, and and then you have to take stairs down to it. And there's a bed. Oh, here we go. And then Disemboweled found that on the Crusader, um, you can stand on the chair and the uh, the HUD panel. Now it's really weird that you can that in all these ships you can't stand on the HUD panel, you can't stand on the chair, but in the Crusader you can. I found in the Asp, in the back. Uh, of the asp, there's hydraulics for the back door. There's like actual, uh, like you know, like you know, you know, on the back of doors, you see like little hydraulic things that that open and close things. There's a there's a a hydraulic door as though like even there's even a door there. Like usually you can see it right through the ship, but on the um, on the asp you can see the back of it. He's <laughs> just ghosting. It's funny because you have a um, you have a skeleton th um, skin there, and you just look like a ghost, like just appearing, uh, like a poltergeist. We're going right through. All right, I'm gonna try to go back, go inside of your thing here. I'm gonna try to sit in your ship because I think that's my only way out of here. Okay. So I'm going on top of the ship here. <laughs> Ships are... I need to back up because I'm going to get creamed by these SRVs when I get out. Alright. Here's, here's hoping I don't die. Whoa, not dying. Okay. Alright. Now what I also wanted to go through with you guys is just to go through like what ship interiors might eventually look la like because having toured around these interiors here there's not that much space to put stuff like okay so this is the back that's the back door there that's a little ramp here right and is the engines then you get into here and you have this huge uh, hangar bay here for the fighters a little airlock there right but then if you go through this door here that's supposed to hook up to the rest of the ship. There is the SRV bay over there. And then there's not very much room to put things. If you think about what the carrier looks like and the little rooms in the carrier, um, everything's joined together. But in here, like, okay, so in our little fantasy world, where is the cargo supposed to go? Right? <laughs> in our little fantasy world, where where is the engine stuff? I mean, that's a, that's right there. It's a, um, it's not, there's a landing pad there. If we had ship interiors, I think Frontier will be hard pressed to be flexible or be creative with where you put stuff. Because look at those engines. I mean, there's barely any room for to put the engines somewhere. My my guess is if they ever do actual ship interiors, it's just going to be in the cockpit area. Maybe you could take a door. From the cockpit area, and you can select, uh, you know, like on, um, on the 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 carrier, you you go to the back door and you select where you want to go. Maybe that'll it'll just like a magic magic door, and you'll just magic door you to like the SRV hangar bay or the fighter bay hangar bay. But I don't think we're gonna be walking around our spaceships because I've been in all these medium ships and there's just no room. I mean, you got this thing over here. Let's see if I can survive coming in here. Yeah. So this is the SRV bay. Now, when an SRV is in here and all folded up, there's barely any clearance room to even walk around. 
Um, having said that, I imagine this could open up, right? And you come in like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, you know, do some, uh, some stuff. I'm coming in here, and then you press E to enter, and you're in there, and then you press another button to like have you come out. Yeah, what is this? A ship for ants? Uh, but yeah, there's not gonna be much to do. Okay, yeah, here's here's a side there. Okay, then over here, big old landing gear here. And then over here, that's the uh, that's the cockpit over there. So I'm gonna just jump over here, go through the door. I'm in the cockpit area. <laughs> jump back to the relative safety of this area here. If I if I stop jumping, I'll fall on the ground there. But yeah, here we are. We're inside. That uh. Um, I do want to. Oops, oops, oops. I do want to show you guys another ship though, because the other, uh, the Federal Assault Ship, that place is cool, because um, you can actually just stand. You don't have to like fly around like a, a a guy here. What's really funny is I stand right here, and now <laughs> I board the. I'm getting actually inside of the cockpit. Let me see. Can I see you guys floating around? I hear you guys, but I don't see you. You're like a. Okay, I see you outside of the spaceship. It's really weird. I, I, I don't know, Sparks, if you're still here, but it, it appears as though where we are in game here in our cockpit is like a whole other place. Now it's a bit obvious to say that because in here, like you see all all the things, you see all the textures, everything is all textured in. But when before, when we were floating around inside of the the the, the cockpit, it wasn't textured in at all. It's just how you see it, like in game from outside, right? You you get your little um, your your ship next to the cockpit of this ship, and you'll see just what we saw before. But yeah, let's go ahead and take off um, disemboweled. Let's go to. I want to get the. I want to see if I can get the mamba. I want to show people the bed. There's a bed in the mamba. It it it's hilarious that there's a bed. Yeah, let's see some bed. Let's Is get it some a cool bed. bed? Does it have yeah. Cool Is it like a we got race car seats? <laughs> Sparks, isn't this funny? We came here in three ships. We're leaving in one. Like, you came in here in your ship. You had to escape your ship and go into my ship. And then now, I'm leaving on this embattled ship. This is cool. Look at this. I love the inside of... Of, uh, what's this thing called? The crate. Oh, I see what you're doing. You want me to recall my ship to here. Okay. You don't want to take me all the way back to the fleet carrier. You want me to recall my own ship. Okay. That makes more sense, honestly. My SRV has exploded. Oh, that's right. That was another thing, Sparks. So we've been doing a lot of things where we have to get in our SRVs, right? And when you leave, we have to leave our SRVs behind. But in essence, all we're doing is making time bombs. So back at the station, if anybody was near the, those SRVs, they would have died because it would have exploded. That's a very aggressive for, uh, form of uh, Ding Dong Ditch. Yeah. So I wanted what I wanted to do was get a bunch of SRVs, put them somewhere. Then somebody stays behind. And, uh, and when they stay behind... Um, they observe whether or not my SRVs uh, blew people up at a settlement. You have to ring the doorbell first, though. Of, of it looks settlement. like we killed Potato Island. <laughs> we uh, we accidentally. Oh, so, well, okay, that confirms it. Potato Island, you are the the winner of the uh, f uh, first ever um, ding dong ditch of an SRV. And now he's 500 light years away. 
That's a really that's much more aggressive than the lighting the dog poop on fire. Yeah, it's like lighting the dog poop on fire and also it's a bomb. And it looks like Potato killed Frakes. Um you know, I I think our Ghost Draft bingo card is going to be well well um <laughs> put together today. Sparks. The only thing uh, is on it, Sparks, though, is is a you. You have to be killed by Cryojoid at some point. Well, I am alone at the place that I was meeting up with you on the surface of the planet. Why are you there? Uh, the internet keeps going in and out, so sometimes uh, I'm there. Sometimes, sometimes you're not. Screen again. Well, hopefully there's going to be people left in the instance by the end of the stream, because there's another magic trick I want to show you guys. Um, there's a way to to be left behind in a fleet carrier. Now, Commander Frakes and Potato have contributed to this knowledge. Um, we figured out, or actually, I, every time it sparks, anytime I say we figured out, it just read disemboweled fear, told us um, how how to do it. But we figured out how to get up out of our seats when the fleet carrier is going to warp. And then what you do is you face the opposite direction that the fleet carrier is going. And instead of going with the fleet carrier, you're left behind in space. Now, some people might see this as a, uh, how, how, how should I put it? Undesirable, right? Like who would want to be left behind in space? Every bug can be a feature though. Every bug can be a feature. And guess what guys? I'm going to make a video of us in space in all these different places. So it's very, it's very space engineers, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, um, you're just left behind as it works out. Okay, I'm going into space and come back in. Alright. I'm going to get the Mamba, because the bed in there is hilarious. And I want to see if I can get to, to no clip my SRV so that way I can stand on top of the SRV and that way I don't have to like jump around like a jumping bean. Okay, wait, Mars, seriously, from your memory, uh huh, do you remember what type of bed sheets on the bed? From what kind of bed sheets on the bed? Very polygon white bed sheets. They're very white. white. Everything was white. Everything was white and. The weird thing is, Sparks, is that there's like a lower deck in the Mamba. And I don't know why. There's a ladder system going to, it's it's like it's like every like teenage kids or middle school kids um uh fantasy, right? They got they have a bunk bed on a spaceship. And there's like these ladders you can go up and down. Um it's just nuts on the Mamba, like how how much detail they put into something that supposedly they're not gonna have us explore. Which I don't, which leads me to believe I don't think that they're gonna just leave it like that. I think um, they will allow us to explore, explore, explore um, the cockpit interiors, which I would like. Well, previously we were allowed to explore the cockpit interiors with another hack, but only in Horizons. Oh, with the uh, VR headset? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you had a big enough space, you could technically walk and clip through um, to some weird some weird areas. Um, although, you know, you, you would have to go into your basement or get on top of your house if you wanted to see some of the things that we're seeing here. Yeah, <laughs> yes we would. Would it even? Ha could you even do that? Like potentially, could you do that? Like, let's see here. Where is my thing? I, I remember the 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 most that I ever hacked it was to try to look at some r real distance. Yeah. And you can walk out. I heard walk out, and then he disappeared. Sorry, walk outside of the ship. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 
Now what I want to do, though, I want to get like a like four of us, right? And we all get left behind. And then we have a montage of I'll take the carrier somewhere and I'll just send it somewhere. It doesn't matter. It could be somewhere in the same system. It doesn't need to be far away, right? But then we get left behind and behind us is this amazing skybox. And what we what we'll do is we'll make it look like we're just flying with our um, spacesuits to all these amazing locations that you can only get uh, to an in a spaceship. But it, we just look like the the um, what's that that show? They were like a bunch of like they were like space hawks. It was back in in the 90s and 80s. It was kind of like a GI Joe type of uh, cartoon show, and. Um, and they they were they're all in space and they they open their wings their arms and like these wings came out do you remember that that cartoon cartoon i do i don't remember the name now it's something like like space hawks or sky hawks something like that centurions no it wasn't centurions i said i don't think so i think it was called sky hawks or something like that but everybody had like a hawk type visage on them like like look at my helmet. That's kind of like why I have this helmet, because it kind of, it's kind of like that, right? Instead of a space hawk, I'm a space tiger. All right, disemboweled. Now that we've killed everybody in our in our stream, we can do this in peace. Silverhawks. Silverhawks. That's right. Raid dog. Uh, raid dog got it. Silverhawks. Silver, silver hawks, yes. Everybody, yeah. So that's what I want. I want us all to be silver hawks. That'd be so cool. And you don't die in space. All you did, all you need to do. Wait, no, you do die. Okay, is that true? Da, da, da. Okay, hold on. Let me land and let me try to figure out what I've been talking about. Hold on. Request docking. Docking nine. I don't want lock docking nine. Docking 19, I don't want docking 19. I also tell my ship to stop flying me somewhere. I want docking 7 or docking 6? Docking 18, I don't want that. The reason why I'm I'm being picky about this is that this only works in certain docks. And dad, and da, uh, da, and dad, thou. These four here are the ones you want. Because they have the secret door and they're, uh, the ground here is in such a way that you can get the ship where you want it. Hey, Mars, Mars, call out the actual numbers of the docks. Which ones are the ones you got? Seven, six, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the pads you want. Okay, now I'm going to show you from start to finish how to get in here without all, all this craziness. So I've landed at pad seven, okay? I'm going to look to where the secret door is. And the secret door is right over here in that corner there alright so I'm here in pad 7 then I disembark in this RV and it spawns me not in in here no but here <laughs> on the roof alright so I'm gonna go into the secret hatch secret door It's on the other side of this area here. Whoa. That's the ground. Alright. Secret ground. secret entrance. I forget which one it is. This one or that one? Okay, we're gonna find out real fast. This could be over real fast. Here we go. Oh, that was the right one. Okay, good. Secret entrance achieved. Oh, I forgot to do this. Um, let's see. Quest boarding. Okay. Okay, make sure you request boarding uh, for your, uh, your ship. So that way you keep the landing pad that you started out at. I'm not sure. I think I might have done it too late. We'll find out soon enough. Mm. 
And if not, if I've missed the window, it's it's not the end of the world. We can totally get it back. Let's see. No, I got sent way over there. Okay, we don't want that. We want this area. Okay, here we go. We got it. And all you have to do to get it back is just cancel boarding and then uh, request boarding again. And in, and then just keep doing that until you get the one you want. And it doesn't take too long. The hard thing, for some reason, the hard thing is landing at the right pad. That's the thing that takes the longest. Okay, now we're going to go inside of the Mamba. Here it is. The Mamba might be my new favorite ship. I've only started using it again for this stream. But uh, since I've been using it, I really, really like it. I used to not like it, but now I do. I think you just like it because of the bend. I think, I think that's right. Alright, let me see over here. Okay, it's really nice not having 15 people trying to jump on top of me and shooting me with plasma cannons while I do this. This Disemboweled? No. <laughs> disemboweled? No. What did I just say? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Hold on. No, because I think if we get more than one SRV up here, it jitters everything. Um... Okay, so now I'm inside. Okay, so here, okay. For one, here's the SRV bay, all right? If we go to the back, there's this thing here. And they put some extra work in the Mamba that they did not do for other ships. This will be What happened? Why is it gone? <laughs> Who did that? It's occupied. Disembowel, did you tell my thing? Okay, out. Out. Out of the SRV. Okay, let me recall it. I think I might be able to bring it back in time. But I see what you're doing. That was probably a good idea. Let's see. Quest boarding. I think I see what he was trying to do. So Disembowel was trying to get into my SRV. So that way he could... um. He wouldn't jitter out his SRV on top of mine, on top of my ship. And so if he, all he needed to do was get inside of my SRV and then, okay, it's coming, it's coming. Watch out, watch out, <laughs> here it comes. There we are. We did it. Okay, we saved the day. Do, 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 do. Okay, part of this, Okay, see this here? You could actually stand on this. Right? And this door here, right? Okay, look at this. I mean, I'm hopeful. I really am. Because this door here... <laughs> I don't want to walk all the way through, but you can see. It's about as big as I am. It's hopeful that this is rendered the correct height for a person to go inside of. Okay, and then um, let's see here. Going up here. All right, Sparks. Here's the bed. Okay, this is weird. Okay, this is this is the lower deck of the Mamba that nobody knows about. So the upper deck is up there. That's where the cockpit is. The second cockpit is right there. That's for the the uh, the second wingman guy. No wingman, crew member up there. Now there's a staircase. That's a ladder that takes you down here. And then there's a small secret room underneath the main cockpit. And in there is a freaking bed. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Almost. Okay. Here we go. There's the bed. So here's the cockpit. There's the bed. There's a little, little place to put your shoes. I just I don't want to run out of uh, out of stuff here. But over here, here's a little little bed there. And over here is a little coffee machine or whatever it is that they put in here. And wait, 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 wait. Go, go, go back to the bed. What kind, what kind of thread sheet do you think we're talking about here? Oh, it, this definitely looks uh, Egyptian uh, cotton. Um, okay. Let's see. They still call it a cotton in the future. That's a very specific planet and a very specific 
region of the planet. It's we, it's we branded at this point. It's all branded, oh, you know. I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got this ladder here which takes you up to Oh look, I can see you. I can see Crowdroid. Or who is that? I mean, who is that? It's the only person here. It's disemboweled. That... Oh, I see somebody here. They're right there. Hey, look at me. I'm floating in front of me. I'm a ghost. I'm a spooky ghost. There's the giant engines. My god, look at those engines. Yeah, I mean, how are you going to fit anything in here? How are you going to be w able to walk around? If if they this is the gun. This is a giant gun bay here, if you guys are wondering. That's a hard point. There's no way you're going to be able to walk around in the, in um in here. And then this is the back. And then over there, I'm afraid to go there, but there's hydraulics over there. Because um, I think that's supposed to open up. In the asp, you can see the hydraulics right away. And I feel like you, when you request the door to open, because look in here. Look at the, uh, the landing pad here and then the door. I think originally you were supposed to walk up here and then click on the door. And then you then load it into here. There's a door here for some reason. I think that's the door. That's the entrance where you come into the ship. Maybe. I don't know. It's weird because there is a little... Let me float over here. Yeah. I, I can't tell what that's supposed to be. But then once you're in there, then you go up here and then you're at the cockpit. That's this place. Yeah, they, they act, Michael Hogan, they actually modeled it. Yes, they did. Mary J, it's interesting that it is wasting rendering power on something you would never ever see under normal circumstances. Well, yes and no, because Mary J, look at the texture here, right? See the textures? It's, it's not textured at all. But when you go in the cockpit, um, You'll be able to see like everything super textured, but that's only for the people who are in the cockpit. Like where disemboweled is right now, he can see all the textures. Like over here, what I what I called a, a toilet. There's a tube here. I don't know what it is, but it's not a toilet. But it looks like a space toilet. If I if I were to guess, that's what I would think it is. I mean, what else are you gonna have here? You got your bed over there, and that's right there. What is it? Dinette set? I don't know. Um. Also, the way that 3D engines work is that things that are not in your viewport matrixy aren't actually not wasting rendering power. What it's wasting is, is uh, a bunch of memory for the vertices of all this interior structure. But I wonder if that's actually the case when you're actually like flying around. I wonder if this is only when they're they're dealing with ground models. You know what? This could also be a, a jacuzzi. Because look, it looks like there's like bubbles or something in the on, on the te sort of like half half rendered textures over there let me see i might send Chris, this might sparks this could be a jacuzzi i don't know this this sounds very luxurious have you, have you done this yet with the orca no unfortunately the orca is a large ship so i'm not able the large ships um in this uh in this planet not this planet the city are put underground. They bury them. Look at this. What is this? What is this thing here? Okay, that over there. That is some kind of utility thing. This, though, I don't know what that is. That looks like a muffler. Apparently, th this is diesel powered. There's one over here, too. All right. Um, disemboweled. Should we go to yours? Let's go to the Crusader. I want to show people that um, you can stand. You can actually stand on the chair and the. Did, did you want to put like a any, any joke Whoa. object in the box? Huh? Makes a funny part of their ship. Do I want to do what? You know how you can put like joke things in people's mufflers so that it makes like weird sounds. When oh. They, like, that's a mis yeah no I should have that's a missed opportunity next time next time yeah, next time hold on let me see I think I'm missing what people are saying 
Uh, only mediums. There's no other way for small ships. Pet seven. Wait. I can't disembark. Restricted by port. Oh, you can't disembark? Okay, so <laughs> our friend is um, stuck inside of the uh, the ship. I mean, let me go rescue him. Valor puts out a, a, a valid point. Yeah. Did you these amazing or terrible in zero G? Huh? A jacuzzi in zero G. Yeah. What what about it? Are you, you not running through physics in your head? Like think about it. Uh yeah, uh I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean wh when we go to the stations, don't we all just, you know, like our feet are on the ground, right? Well what I'm saying is if you had a jacuzzi on your ship and then you went into zero G, uh -huh. your room becomes a jacuzzi because the water's not contained in the jacuzzi anymore. It's everywhere. I don't I don't see the problem. I don't I refuse to think there's a problem here. Look at this, see? Can't come in here normally. No, I think it'll be fine. Oh look at this, I could just do this. What am I wasting everybody's time floating around for? Look at this guy. He thinks he's playing a video game. Oh look, and then look, there's a door back here. I didn't see this. Where does that go into? More of this. Oh yeah. I mean it would be really cool. To go in here. It's kind of weird because okay, there's there's these ladders here, and take you here. We're gonna hit your head on top of this. I don't. And then, but then there's a door back here. Maybe that's the escape hatch, or just to go to the SRV. If you're going here, yeah. All right. Um, disemboweled. I am going to take off in this in the spaceship, and then we're gonna show the the Crusader, because I think there's some cool stuff in the Crusader, right? On this note, um, Commander. Let's see. Commander Payne VR keeps mentioning this character named FRJ, who apparently has done some sidewander rendering. That's something we should take a look at. Oh yeah, I definitely take a look at that. Okay, we're launching. Okay, now keep in mind we're leaving behind two SRVs that are now going to become bombs inside of this uh, <laughs> inside of this place. Both our SRVs are going to explode. Make sure you ring the doorbell first. Okay. All right, I'll ring the doorbell. Let's see, doorbell. Whoa, all the frames came today. Okay, here we go. Fire groups. Doorbell. There we go. There we go. I rang the doorbell. I tried to boost, but I still had my landing gear down. Yeah. Whoa, wacky wow wow. Oh my god, what is that? What was that? Something massive exploded. These my shields took a hit. It was right when This about did you feel that? I'm looking at <laughs> at the uh live stream. Something exploded and it hit my ship. Mars, Frakes says Frakes. Yeah, something happened. Okay, we while we're flying away, both mine and Disembowed's SRVs were at the station. And just as they exploded, my ship was hit by something. Like some sort of blast. I thought it was the uh, station retaliating against us. Disembowed, we gotta... We gotta... Yeah. SRV. Did we leave behind like a nuclear bomb? Okay, during this week, this involved, we need to practice this. Let's deposit a bunch of SRVs into the ground. Somebody stays behind while the other person leaves. And let's see if there's like a huge explosive burst. I don't think there should be. It makes no sense that there would be. But something made us um, bank up and to the, up and to the right when those things exploded. That was really weird. I was not expecting that. I honestly thought it was a station attacking us. But the station is still green. It's not red. It would have if it attacked us, it would have um would have changed color. 
I gotta find at the same time, I know, right? What's going on? Hold on. This is about are you, is there something you discovered and you're not telling me? Hold on. Yeah, something happened. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my shields to go down, but I tried to land and then the ship started moving again. Okay, that's weird. Are my modules still on? Let's see. Everything is still here. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. But if this happens again, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be like, maybe my ship is haunted by the ghosts of, of SRV's past. Alright, I'm gonna try to land. This is me landing. Okay. Everything's fine. Yeah, haunted by the ghost of giraffe. Okay, taking off. That's weird. That's wild. Another thing that it could be. You know what? Here's my guess of what happened. No, that couldn't have happened. My guess was going to be that maybe my SRV, because remember when I, when I got back into the Mamba, I landed on top of my SRV? Um... I was thinking maybe my SRV was on top of my ship, but then it wouldn't be blown up by the distance proximity because then it would be with me. So if it blew up while I was on top of my ship, that could that would explain why my ship suddenly jerked down and up like that. Because maybe there was an explosion on top of the ship and the shield there was shield damage, but it wouldn't have exploded. If it was still with me, I don't know. So oh. you're a believer in, in, in Mira's theory that you just popped a skimmer? What's that? You're, you're, Mira's theory that you just popped a skimmer? Popped a skimmer? No, because my, sh my uh, engines would have um, turned off. And all my shields would have gone off too. A skimmer will take out your whole your whole shield for some reason. You're, I don't know why they don't weaponize these things. But your, if running into a skimmer would have uh, taken out... Um, all of your shields and then also your engines would have been turned off for a brief moment. Commander Ryzen Fox says this has been uh, this has long been discovered. It is not the cockpit interior but the hangar bays for the SRV and the fighters you are seeing. I think he's describing something we already talked about. But good for you for reading it out loud. Yes. In case other people did not hear earlier. Alright. Actually, um, disemboweled. Let's go ahead and do the Silverhawks thing. Let's, um, when the, S when the, when the fleet carrier takes off, let's all run to the bar. Speaking of which, how many people are in system? I By think. the way, um, I'm, I'm in a Sisyphusian task of uh, taking off, uh -huh. boosting, trying to get back to the carrier. Okay, yeah, come to the carrier. No, 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 no. I, I've been trying to get to the carrier. I've tried this seven times now. Yeah. I get, I, I'm in my ship. Uh-huh. I, I go into, into the sky. I, I boost into the sky. And as my friendship drive is charging, I get disconnected. I start back at the ground, and I've, I've been doing this the entire stream. Oh no! You might be. I, I think your internet might be too much, too little, too little, too much. Sparks, Sparks, Aroni. That doesn't make any sense, Mars. Me neither. Do you mean too little, too late? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's exactly the words I said. Okay, we're gonna try. <laughs> Mars, did you get the fortune class carrier? Yes, we got the fortune class carrier. 
Lecrack says, Yo, the fact that FDeb might have planned the door based ship interior stuff instead of the current circle is insane. I don't think they did. Though I think they maybe they okay, maybe it was like this, right? Where you're in in like the carrier here, right? And you go to a door and you press a thing and then instead of like an elevator, you press that and then it would fade to black and then you'd be somewhere else in the ship. But based off of me going through all the uh, other places, the fighter bay and the SRV bay is just way too large. Even if you don't have a fighter bay installed, it's still there. Um, it's way too large for there to be uh, anything else planned around that. Like I think, much I like how... That's why huh? It would be that way. I don't think that's why it would be that way. No? So if you, like, um, uh, for instance, what's that really fancy school, like the art school in California? Uh, anyway, um, when you're doing science fiction uh, design, even just for concept art, yeah, there's like a class you have to take yeah. about how basic propulsion and systems work so that when you're, like, making something fantastical, like, it would make sense. So most likely the modeling artists were just having to create these ships and so they had to make them, you know, have pieces that made sense so that they had a realism kind of world, you know? Yeah. Like, this is probably part of the artist modelers of having to make room for that stuff because they're designing their ships. And if they didn't, like, think those things through, the ships wouldn't look very good. They wouldn't look real. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying, LeCrack. I get it. Yeah, transition-based. Yeah, it would be it would be cool, especially the amount of work they put in that Mamba. It's crazy. And then and on top of that is... um. We didn't get a chance to show you uh, just yet because uh, we were all getting wanted. Uh, on the Crusader, the Crusader is the only one where you can actually walk on top of the chairs and like squat on it. And then the um, the HUD also, you could run into it. And it's the only ship you can do that on. And it's really strange why that is. I feel like some of the interiors of these ships are like, maybe they were going to add like collisions and then they they stopped adding the collisions um by the way we're going to do the the silver hawks jump we're not going very far so people who are still making it over here um you have 15 minutes to get here but okay you're going to hit the bar but uh this jump is just going to be like one like regular jump away it's not very far because by the way, Mir it's it's not. It's not Cal Arts. That's actually where I, I grew up. The uh, the uh, uh, what is it called? The mascot is the flying monkey for the for Cal Arts. I'm thinking of the Art Center College of Design, which is uh, a different one. I'm in the bar that's involved. I see you. I see you. What? Should I be standing somewhere for this? This involved. Okay, this is in a crate. Also, this is has another idea. Stand on top of the antenna until you get outside. What? Okay, stand on top of the antenna until I get outside? Okay, I see the antenna. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, now. Oh, I missed. I missed. Hold on. Put it back down. Put, put it down a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, it shot me off to the side. Okay, try again. Try again. Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright, it's going up. It's going up. I'm at the window. Oh, it, it, it shoots me off. Do you need to just flick me out? Would that work? Okay, lower it some more again. There's a lady here. No, I need to stay on it. Well, I'm trying to, but the wall keeps pushing me off. Alright. Alright, I'm on top. I'm on top. I'm still here. Okay. I am now in <laughs> the ad. I'm now, hold on. Come back down. I'm inside. I'm I'm on the uh, this this display thing over here. Whoa, whoa! Trying to get back. Okay, I see. You. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, push me up. Push me up. 
Push me up. Come on. Ah, oh, no, I won't. Okay, go back down. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Ah, no, it's not. It's not throwing me out of there. Whoa. Okay, falling back down to the ground. Oops. All right. The easier version of this is just to um, stand up uh, before your for the carrier takes off, and then look backwards. <laughs> That's the easiest way. To, okay, now yeah, lower it down, lower it down. Almost. Back up a little bit. I wonder, can you pull me? into the wall instead of pushing me up. Can you like they kinda like um scoop me into the wall here? Would that work? If you fall down you get teleported back. I can show that off. Alright. is very very scary <laughs> super intimidating see this giant pole coming at me oh god okay there you go there you go it looks like I'm taking damage but uh, I, I'm it, I'm bleeding, but I'm immortal. We we can do this on stations. This is how we get immortal status on stations. You do this, and then you can never die. The only problem is, is that you're forever cemented to the ground. But this about okay. We'll, we'll do this for a few more. Okay, I'm going up. I'm going up. Ah, pushes me off. How about can you do it this on this side? Like turn your ship around and do it on this side here. What if I stand? Can I stand on this? I can't. This lady's in the way. I think these people are in the way. Women sleeping. <laughs> I know, right? Michael Hogan. Tom Riley says. Think you'll have a walk space, crawl spaces, etc. There won't be much space through it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A lot of, lot of crawl spa spaces. A lot of um, what are those things called in Star Trek? The uh, um, Laverne's spaces. What are they called? Walk. There's a certain certain wor word for the uh, the vent space to go around in. I forget what they're called. Jeffrey's tube. That's right. What are you? Jeffrey's, oh, Jeffrey's tube. tube. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think ship interiors will be just a bunch of uh, Jeffrey soups, which I am all for because it it'd be kind of nice to go prone, right? Especially if you have, you have a sniper rifle, you want to go prone on the oh. ground. Oh. oh huh? How did you get Laverne from Jeffrey's? Laverne? I knew it was some like weird name, like weird English name. Why Laverne? Laverne, like Laverne and Shirley, you know, like it was like eighties, nineties TV shows. I was thinking. Oh, I'm up here now. What? Okay, no, ouch. Well, actually, I did no actual pain. Whoa! Threw me across the room. That was kind of cool. The worst thing, though, the worst thing is if you throw me behind the uh, bar, because then I, I can never come out. I'll be stuck with numbers forming over here. I don't like the way he looks at me. Okay, this is about come come and land. We're gonna we're gonna do it my way. Come and land, because I want us to be in, in formation for this. All right. So what's gonna happen, guys? If you've never seen this before, you can stand up um, for the 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 fleet carrier jump. Um, the last two and a half minutes of a fleet carrier jumping is the most boring part because you're forced to sit in a chair and you can't even access this thing you can't it won't let you I don't get it why not however there is a small window of time 
where as you are getting up from your chair, right? The game is checking. Is everybody seated? Is everybody seated? And as you stand up, you are both seated and not seated. And when that happens, the game does not check whether or not you're seated. And you and by the time you stand up, it is now 2 minutes and 45 seconds. It's no longer teleporting people to their seats, and you can go wherever the heck you want in the in the fleet carrier. The second part to that is if you turn the opposite way of where your carrier is going, it'll leave you there. It won't take you. Hello, this bald. Is anybody else here? If you're outside of the sp of the of the fleet carrier, come inside. Cause I want to do um, something cool. Oh, I got to change. I want to wear glowy stuff like um, like uh, like him. Cause we want to look good in space. Okay, edit this layout. Okay, Skelly. Use this layout. Okay, cool. This is my glowy layout. This is my going out clothes. Like literally going out <laughs> into outer space. Okay, this involves is dress to impress also. Okay, five minutes. Yeah. Okay, this involves let's go ahead and uh, uh sit at the um let's sit next to each other. I hear somebody else is coming. I hear the uh the guard the uh, not the guards but the the thing with jigs. Okay. Sit down here. And then what we need to do, we need to keep an eye on this clock. Right before um, it goes from uh, 2 minutes and 47 seconds, before it gets to 46, that's when you stand up. Alright? Why are you significantly lower than I am? <laughs> oh, no, sit back down. Sit back down. No, no, go back here. Sit back down. It's hilarious. Where are you going? No, 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 sit down there. Look, look at this. You're sitting on the ground. Okay, cool. Somebody else is here. Two more people are here. Okay, guys, I hope you are in the Discord. Because at right when you guys... Okay, great. Everybody sit down. At uh, four minutes... We're at four minutes now. At two minutes and 47 seconds. Right before it turns to 46. Stand up, okay? You have one shot at this, me included. All right, everybody in sitting down, looking at the clock at two minutes and 47 seconds. Right before it turns to 46, you stand up. Do not stand up before. Definitely do not stand up after. Well, you can't stand up after. That's it. Okay, Rome Grown says if you die in space, you will respawn on board um, the space bar. We'll go over that later. I hope you guys didn't come in ships that have a lot of rebuy. Okay, 3 minutes and 17 seconds. Alright. And then after this, when we stand up, everybody run to the bar. I want us to stand in a V formation. Okay. Okay, everybody look at the clock. At 2 minutes and 47 seconds, stand up. Alright, it's almost here. Fifty. Forty seven. Standing up. Okay, I'm up. Okay, everybody run. Run, we did it. <laughs> run. Oh no. Potato Island didn't make it. Okay. Run to the bar. Run to the bar quick. Alright. Now I am going to be the head Okay, Frakes, you are you face the other way. Face the other way. Don't face this way. Okay, in a V formation, everybody. All right. In a V formation. Like burb. Like burb. No, 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 no. Freaks, go back to where you were. And then um, disemboweled. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You like this, all right? Because we're gonna be, we're gonna be the whatever birds. Okay. Keep pointing forward. Okay, we got a minute and fifty seconds. Very good. Everybody, keep looking forward. Um, also, if you guys were wondering, you don't see, um, you don't see the uh, hyperdrive, hyperspace animation when you're back here in the bar. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the crowd joint. I don't know. We'll find out if that's an issue. I don't think it is. Okay, there's two ways out of this situation. We're all going. We're all going to be vented into space. By the way, um, that's fine. The thing that's going to happen is we're going to be in space. How do we get back from space? Uh, what you need to do is you need to die. All right, and then go into Horizons. Do not log back in into Odyssey. You go into Horizons. It will put you back in your spaceship. Then. Um, then you'll be fine. Uh, yeah. So the only way out of this is make sure you die. But don't die yet, because I want to do a few things. Alright, we got 43 seconds. Now, um, what's going to happen is everything in this bar is going to disappear except for the people. Now, if you um, log back, if you log out... Um, and log back into Odyssey, it'll put you in a rebuy screen with your ship. So you don't want that. Oh wait, um, but if you log back, if you log out in Odyssey and come back in, you'll be floating in space. But if you die in space, oh here we go. It's time. <laughs> it's bouncy bouncy time. Here we go. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, you guys all fell out of the earth. I don't know what's going on, but it's happening. All right. Okay, we're at some point the walls go away. The walls always go away. Okay, waiting for it. I hope you guys are f doing okay. There it goes. It's gone. The walls are gone. People are only standing. You can see the ec outside the ships, sort of. I can't see my friends. I'm alone here in space. I'm back here. I'm in space. But where are my friends? Guys? Guys? Well, I guess it's time to... Uh, let's see. I guess it's time to get going. It's... Uh, Let's walk this way here, and yep, let's just walk towards the uh, <laughs> the star over there. Yeah, look at this. I'm in space. I'm in space, running in space. It's the greatest feeling. Uh, I could take out my gun. Look at this. I fire, and it propels me into the future. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to move. There we go. Okay, I don't know where everybody is. I don't know what happened to everyone else. <laughs> I don't. I don't know where my friends are, and I'm alone in space. I thought I'd have friends here, but I don't. I see something over there. I think that's my ship. I think that's my mamba, or at least the engines of it. But look at this. You could this be in space here, and you are indeed in space. Cause look at your power level. It see how it how it drops. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is, all right. Yeah. So this is this is the space bar. If you want to come to the Ghost Draft space bar, you get you get to enjoy this. All right. I can't. Okay. I'm going to relog into Odyssey. All right, guys. So I'm going to Control Alt Delete. I forgot about this part. And Control Alt Delete, and uh, because you can't press Escape, I tried. And then come back into Odyssey. Hopefully, we'll see other people in the instance. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Now I'm going back into the game, and the added benefit of doing this is I won't be walking. You won't see me just standing there in space. You'll actually see me floating. And also, um, if somebody has a ship nearby, I should have thought of this earlier. But if somebody has a ship nearby, um, they can come and see me. <laughs> Float in space. Yes, amazing views, guaranteed. Um, or your money back. All right. It's loading back up. Can I run to the Mamba? I will try, Rome Grown. I will try. Okay, it's coming back in. All right. We're going back into the game. And I'll be this time I'll be able to float in space. 
It was pretty funny that everybody was kind of like floating for a little bit and then everybody just fell through the ground. Commander R Zulu. Press P for pause. <laughs> yes, P for pause. Absolutely. Okay. Now when we log back into the game, I will be floating in space. So I'm going to do a, um, a video of just my spa me and my spacesuit going to really cool places. And I just wanted to make it look like I flew there in my spacesuit. And this is how I'm going to do it. Because you guys remember when I did the video of me and my SRV in space and my SRV is just floating out there in space it's, uh, going from planet to star to star I got to fly into nebulas um, I did that using a special thing too um, I used force cannons and I jumped on my ship and it propelled me into space so I think on my on my SRV I have actual light seconds amount of light seconds my SRV has traveled but this one you guys are seeing the the uh, the behind the scenes on how I'll do the video where I fly to distant nebulas. Oh no, I'm on a stupid carrier. Ah, oh, this is the worst day of my life. Oh well, that's fine. We'll try it again. <laughs> we'll do it again another time. Oh, somebody else, is anybody else here? Or is it just me? It's not supposed to do this. Last time I did this. Okay, other people are here too. All right. Well, I will say this: where I sent the the uh, the carrier, it's in a really pretty place. I wonder if I can see it from here. It's only like uh, one system over. So apparently, all you need to do is relog into her into Odyssey. Ah, oh, but the last time I did it, I was floating and oh my god, <laughs> that is a ring. Wow, look at this place. Look at this. This is the best view I've ever had. Look at that. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. That's nice. I will go outside and destroy you. I will get into with the biggest spaceship I have and send you back to the Pleiades. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow! Look at this. There you go there. That is nice. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, if you have a fleet carrier, do yourselves a favor and get a freaking bar. That's what it's all about. Oh, boy. That's nice. It was so funny because when... um. When I went over here, I thought there was something wrong with my view screen. I came over here and I saw this. Right? I was like, what is that? <laughs> Why is there a barcode in front of me? That's hilarious. That's some funny stuff. Another funny thing to do is um just creep around. Let's go like this. Go, hey guys, what you talking about? And he's creep around, right? It's like it's okay, guys. I own the place. Hey guys, what you talking about? Huh? Let's creep around. <laughs> I spend too much time doing this to crack myself up. Huh? Hey guys. Huh? You're like the crazy owner. You like you must have a reputation on your ship. To yeah. Be, oh man. Here he I'm comes. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, he's come to the bar. Oh great, he's gonna disappear again. He's gonna teleport through the walls. Yeah. Yep. 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 This place is great. And then also, Sparks, I didn't get to show you the ready room. The ready room. The ready room. I don't know why they put this here, but it's here. The ready room ready? The ready room is about to be ready. Well, you, you should show me before end of stream while I continue my Sisyphusian task of taking off. Having a promise of possibly... See the galaxy area. over there? Nice ready room. Connecting. 
It's nice here. I usually come in here um, whenever I stand up for the. Uh, oops. Whenever I stand up for um, taking off, I usually stand up at 2 minutes and 47 seconds. And then I run over here. And I just watch it from here instead. <laughs> that if you go to the bar, you'll be teleported off of the ship. Um, no matter if you're facing backwards or not. Um, but uh, if you're here, you could you could watch everything happen. But if you want to be teleported off your ship, you just stand like this, and you face opposite opposite direction. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe there's something about teleporting out of, off of it from the the bar versus the ready room. I don't know. None of this makes sense, Sparks. N this entire stream has been a giant illusion, trying to convince me that I'm in some kind of simulation. Yeah, I feel like I've literally unlearned uh, through the stream. I think I think I'm actually dumber having, having <laughs> gone through this now. Well, I would say then, you know, course is set and and delivered. Look at this, man. Wait, Arno, what was that mixed metaphor? Horses set and delivered. <laughs> right? Isn't that isn't that what people say? Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't think anyone has ever said that. I'm sure people say it. They're gonna say it now. Horses set and delivered. What do you mean? What is what does it mean? It's like you know, like if you have an expectation, and you're like, hey, are your horses ready? Like, hold your horses. Okay, they're ready to go. All right, get to delivering. You know, like the ammo train. You gotta deliver like the ammunition to the front using your horses. You don't want to go too early, or else they're gonna get hit by the counter artillery. So you gotta hold your horses. That's where that saying comes from. But then, um, when they're re they're set and delivered, you delivered you know the uh, ammunition to the front. Horses set and delivered. That's wait. That's wait, not huh. Those are two different blocks of time. Having your horses ready to deliver ammunition, mm -hmm. and then having delivered. Like if your never mind. Just what? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm in. Um, I I I was actually given the wrong spaceship. I want to go inside of this one. And I want to fly outside of my carrier and look at things. Really, really cool. Alcohol and drugs nearly free, says it. Says somebody. Why? Fleet carriers don't exist. Just like birds, right? <laughs> when you die in Hutton orbital, orbital, you die in real life. That's why I don't go. I don't. Yeah, that's actual. Statement. That, I, that's actual fact. Yeah, you've you've done it. Right, you died, but then you had to respawn like back at home. Yeah, our, uh, you know, this 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 other game, uh, they call it R outside. Yeah. It's really hard. R outside. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my goodness! Call it, look at this reveal! Holy mackerel! I can't even get the whole place in one shot. Look at that! Potato Island, come next to me. Like we're like a wing. We're about to like come and land on this place. I need to, I need to go in external mode here. Oh wow! You know, Sparks, the funny thing is, is that this is no different than flying here in your spaceship, like the one I'm in, right? But, man, oh man, there's something there's something that the fleet carrier does that makes this feel like you've actually come, go, gone somewhere and arrived. And then, the next thing I'm going to do, when the stream is over, Sparks, I'm going to tell my fleet carrier to leave me here in space, <laughs> in my spacesuit. And I'm going to float here and have lots and lots of fun, just floating around. That's what I do in this video game. You're you're literally an ins <laughs> Oh boy. Look at this place. Look at look at where we've gone. This is nuts. This is nuts. Alright guys. That was lots of fun. I'll see you guys during the week. Sparks, it's always great having you. Um hopefully we'll we'll have better internet connections with you later. Yeah, yeah. That'll get resolved at some point. Yeah, and then we'll have more adventures. Um, next time, but we have we have a, right. a stream during the week, either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, it'll probably be Thursday, but um, and then uh, our regular streams here on Saturdays. 
Yeah, so stop on by. Tell your friends. And until then, Woohoo! Mars. I'm Mars Europe. And this is Ghost Giraffe. Oops, not that button. That button. Uh oh. Somebody's trying to shoot me. That's right. That's right. I got a whole fleet carrier. I don't need hard points. I have a fleet carrier, friend. Kaboom! <laughs> I was I wasn't joking when I said I'd end you, <laughs> Potato Island. Oh boy. Hopefully, hopefully you didn't spawn in Maya again. All right, guys. That was an explosive ending. All right. Let's see here. Where's the buttons? To push the buttons. There we go. All right. I push that button. I push this button. There we go. Bye, everybody. Bye.